Hi, Toden here. Okay, today we're going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to take a file from Final Cut Pro 7, which is already done, edited. It just needs to be on a playable DVD. So, what we're going to do is we're going to take, you know, we're going to be right in Final Cut Pro 7, and we're going to send it through Compressor to DVD Studio Pro. So, as you can see here, I already have... Um, I have all my edits done. It's 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 fine. I like it. You know, so I need to put this on DVD so I can show it to my client so they can approve it. So hopefully I don't have to do this again. As you can see, it's not all of it's not rendered by this little run mark here. That's fine. It doesn't have to be all rendered. But anyways, you want to make sure the segment you want on your timeline is clicked but just you know clicked or you can even click it uh, from up here make sure the make sure the one that you want is clicked so that's what you send then we go to file send to compressor and you know if it's all hooked up on your Mac which in most cases it should. If you have Final Cut Studios, that's what you have. You should have, you know, your DVD Studio Pro, your compressor, all that comes to your Final Cut Studios. I'm not talking about X, I'm talking about your basic Final Cut Studios. So this came up. What we need here is we need to put the actual settings in here. We don't need I'm you know, we could create a DVD from here, but we're not going to do that. What we're going to do is, why do I have two things up? We should only have one thing up. But there it is. There's a promotion. Here's your settings. Since we're going to eventually send this to DVD, you want to go to your DVDs. It's under 90 minutes, so this is what I'm going to grab. and grab the audio. Just drag it right up there. Same thing with your video. I don't want that there. I want my video right there because it's the same file. So you don't want to put it down here. You want to put it in the same Final Cut file right here. Now we have the little exclamation points. Well, well the reason we have that here is because we don't have a destination. So we want to choose destination. And this, you know, I like to choose a particular folder so I know where everything is going. That's just organization. You can put it wherever you want, but I like to be organized. I'm going to put a new folder in there so that way I could find it easier later. Which goes with your, you know, like it's, you know, so you could go in there, you can put a new folder, you know, zombie walk, um, I think this is my second draft I'm showing to them. So I go ahead and create that folder. And I can put that there. Same thing here. Destination, other, zombie walk, second draft. Okay. Now once you click submit, it will ask you for a name. Oh, no. Zombie walk, and that name it doesn't necessarily have to be the name that shows up on the DVD. So name it whatever you need to name it. And um, this part is where it may take a while. This is three minutes in length, and my ETA is less than a minute. And we watched that go up to about six minutes. So it took about six minutes for this to finish. Okay. Now you know it's done when it says successful and the bar is completely gone. So let's go ahead into the next step. Let's go to our DVD Studio Pro. You know, make sure you have a new project, which is file new. And you might not see what you want already your folder, you know, might not be already up here. Your folder might not be in here, yada, yada. So let's go ahead and put it in there. Or also, you might need to update the folder because it hasn't been updated yet. You know, since 
five minutes ago or whenever it was done. So we go ahead and just double click the folder it'll be in and we add it and it goes right there. Now I'm in audio so all I'm I'm adding right now is the audio track and yes you need to add if you do it this way you do need to add your audio and your video separately. So that's the audio. Now let's do the exact same thing for the video. We add, go to the folder which it's in, and then click your file that you want. And we're putting in track one. Now notice it didn't bring its own audio track because it did not have audio in it. Now, we don't want a menu. I mean, there's plenty of ways you can play with and put a menu, but we're just doing a simple DVD, no menu, nothing like that. Just, you know, you put in and play. So let's, no chapter marks either. So we just hit delete, and the menu is gone. And what we do is we want this to be first play, and we also want to double check... see pre-script not set we don't need it menu all that's and jump when it's done where do we want to send it we want to send it back meaning what this is going to do is we put it in it'll just play the track and when it's done it'll play it again simple very simple Now, let's make sure it would work like that. So we go go to our simulator. Plays perfectly. Just, you know. Thanks, zombies! And at this point, you'd want to uh, just sit back and watch all of it to make sure that it goes back. But I actually do trust this. You know, if you have chapter points and stuff like that, you want to check, make sure everything's good. But for this demonstration, we're just going to assume it's all good. So we just go and hit burn. And that's going to tell us to put in an acceptable DVD recording media. So you go ahead and put in your blank DVD. Which I just did. We wait for it to load. And then it starts to burn it. All right, just to recap what we just did. While this is, you know, this is burning right now, but let's just recap. We are in Final Cut Pro 7. We file. We send to compressor, which opened up our compressor. And then we went ahead and put the settings we wanted on it because we want to send to DVD. We use the DVD settings. And then once that finished, you know, we sent that to a file and we opened that file in DVD Studio Pro and we just got rid of the menus, made it first play, and we wrapped it around. So, the you know, we made it first play and we put the end jump back to it. And then we just pretty much hit burn after we checked it. And this was under three minutes, so it went by really fast. But some cases will take longer depending how big the video files are. All right, well, thank you for watching. Rate, comment, thumbs up because we don't have the rating system anymore. Whatever. You know, have a good one.